if you have, for example, at Fatima, the 70,000 people witnessing what they saw happening, and you cannot ignore that testimony, you just cannot. That would be irrational in anyone's language. Okay, and, and the, the response to that is, is, is that the test that, that Hume was outlining, that Richard Dawkins was, was uh, echoing, is not whether or not you ignore the testimony. The test is you match the testimony against the other evidence, and the other evidence is the, the uh, inherent testimony of many, many, many more people than were at Fatima not noticing anything unusual happening in a way that they certainly would have if either the sun or the earth had moved off its axis to the extent that would have caused what people believed that they saw. And what you have to ask is, which is, which is more miraculous that the earth would have moved off its axis and nobody noticed apart from these people in Fatima, or that the earth didn't move off its axis and these people in Fatima were mistaken. And, and I, I, think, I think by any sort of test of logic, it's more likely that those people are mistaken. And, and there, there, there are any number of, of, of studies that show the, the impact of, um, first of all, of staring at the sun, you know, which, which is, is very unhealthy in many ways and, and, and can cause hallucinations. And the, and the, the second is, the, is the, the idea that people, uh, it, the, the idea that people go along with what they believe other people think that they're experiencing, and there's many scientific experiments that show that that happens, that, 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 it, that if you, even down to if you, if, you if, if we got the people in this room and, and asked you to measure on, on, uh, on, on a piece yeah. of paper which line was longer out of two lines, and if you do that, you, you'll get it right. But if you, if you do that in a situation where one person is brought in and everybody else is actors, and they, and, and they are primed to say that the shorter line is longer than the, than the longer line, the person who isn't in on that will invariably go along with it and, and, and just mistakenly say what, 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 uh, what they believe everybody else is seeing. So, so there, there are many examples of, of, of those type of, of, uh, of collective hallucinations that are far more rational explanations than the Earth shifting from its axis with only a, a relatively small number of the population of the Earth noticing. Okay. But your answer, is, see, Michael, it precludes the existence of God. No, even, even, if there no, was no. A, even if there was a God, that's, that would still be the case. But you see, God is all-powerful. In the Christian theology and in other faiths as well, Islam, Judaism, God is the creator of heaven and earth, the universe, all-powerful, can do what he likes because of his power. And the fact that you try to say, oh well, they were delusional, they all said this. Dawkins himself says he would rather believe that they all, he would, that they never conspired together. He couldn't believe that. Or that their eyesight was damaged by the sun. He says that that couldn't happen. He would rather believe that happened than the sun moved. He, he didn't say that it couldn't happen. <laughs> what, what he said is, is that, I mean, what, what he said is, is which is more likely, which is more miraculous, that, 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 that people were mistaken or that the earth shifted on its axis uh, uh, without anybody else noticing. And, and also the actual stories of that event, unsurprisingly, uh, are, are, are so contradictory. This is one of the things about, about God, if he does exist, is he seems to be a pretty poor communicator and, and, and he, he tells different things to different people all around the world, uh, ranging from trivial things uh, like these party tricks of, 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 of making the sun spin to, to far more serious things of, of, uh, of, of telling different people that, that, that morally what they should do is fly an airplane into a building or stone, or, or, or as in the Bible, stone a man to death for gathering sticks well, on the Sabbath yeah, or, well, or stone a woman right. to death for being a vir yeah. not being a yeah. virgin on, on her wedding yeah, night. Well. So, so, so one would think that an, an all-powerful God would be a, a more effective communicator and would at least be able to give the same message to everybody. Can we just get Martin to respond? Yes. Well, you see, this is, a, this is typical of, of the atheist arguments that one meets in all the books. They're, they're learned by rote. What about the sun dancing Easter Sunday mornings, going back to the first century? Was I deluded? No. Well, clearly you I were. I was not deluded. Of course you were. Of course, it's, it's, it's infinitely more likely that you were deluded than, than that the sun was dancing, because the sun does not dance. So, we, 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 the, monks, the monks in the 6th century on the Skellies, they were deluded as well? 
the, the, the lady, the lady on the bus in Cork, Serbo, where her relatives. Okay, do, do you believe Muhammad flew on a winged horse? No, I don't. Well, why? Why do you, why do you not think? Why, why do you think? Do you think he was because deluded? There is no, there's no justification for it. Okay, so so you think religion. Muhammad was deluded, but the monks weren't. You no. see, this this is the thing about religion is, is is everybody can notice immediately how absurd the, the claims of other religions are, and you can immediately we're notice that it's an absurd no, to, to suggest we're that not that, we're not claiming about religions as well, such. Well, we're well about Muhammad individual believed. experiences. Yeah, okay, Muhammad experienced flying on a wind horse uh, on, on, on the basis that, that Allah enabled him to do it. Muhammad's Allah is the same God as the Christian God. Yes. Uh, so so you, you believe that Muhammad, for some, uh, because uh, so for, for some denominational religion, re religious reason, you believe that Muhammad was, was deluded, but that the, the, the people of Fatima weren't? Well, I've no, well, to talk about the people of Fatima and say they were all deluded, I, I think that's contemptible. Well, do you not think Muhammad? I mean, Muhammad, no, was, a, Muhammad was a messenger of God. Do you not think he'd be more, less likely to be deluded? But we have no, we have no rational explanation for Muhammad. Of course, and we've no and rational so, explanation yeah, for, for, yeah, for in Jesus. In addressing yeah. that particular we're, point, we're going off. We're not going off course. No, no, we're no, we're, 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 no, we're perfectly on course. Well, sorry, we're, we're, we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere where you would rather us not go, but we're perfectly on course. Okay, I'll ask Merton to just address that briefly. So, just I think if I I'm going can back. I sum up yes. my, uh, Michael's point. Um, I'll, I'll use the microphone yes. briefly, if I can and speak in, in in terms that. You want to make the point that you were not deluded, but yet make the point that Muhammad was. And how would you make that? I think my, that's just what I think Michael was trying to yeah. ask you to justify. Oh, I, I, I forget about Muhammad at the moment. No, let's not forget about Muhammad. Let's let's keep I'm Muhammad right back. there because because he because, because what we're talking about is God, not not the Christian version. I'm of God. coming back to the basic points I made in my speech mm. about the sun dancing on Easter Sunday mornings, not a Sunday morning, Sunday mornings from the early century. Okay. Do, do, do you believe that the so statue is moved in Balmissima? So everybody who saw that sun dancing, and we're talking about millions down the centuries, they were all deluded. That's yeah, what well, Michael is saying. No, we're certainly not talking about millions. There, there, were, uh, there were at most, uh, at, at the highest speculation, 70,000 of the, the, the most famous incident in Fatima, and, and, and in, in terms of the photographs of the incident, a lot less. So let, let's, not, let's not jump into millions before, with, with no... We were talking about Easter Sunday mornings. Can we leave the, we'll, um, we'll yeah. leave the, the point on Fatima and, and the sons. Are there any other issues that Michael addressed in his speech that you would like to respond to?